is this idea of code as data. You know, a lot of people, especially coming from the Lisp world, love to say, like, code is just data, man. And it's a weird thing because on the one hand, literally nobody was ever confused by that, right? Like, the, the abstraction of the Turing machine is like code is data. Or even in the early days of actual modern computers, um, before we had programmable computers, you had hard-coded computers where you could like input parameters and we had to invent the idea of interpreting data in this way that makes a process happen. So nobody was really ever confused about this, but I think the reason Lisp people are excited about it generally is because of macros, because they have more powerful macros than anybody else at the time or whatever, and you could manipulate a higher level version of data, right? That's what's really meant by code is just data, and so I'm going to go through some for a systems language, very high levels of viewing your code as data. Um, all right, so I'm gonna just start demoing stuff. And, uh, you know, this, uh, this project, I think of it as reality-based design in the sense that it's informed by my experience of building things in the past and also, um, you know, by the problems that I'm having from day to day and what we're working on right now. Uh, if we want to get a little volume from the HDMI, that would be great for mood. Um, if we don't, that's fine too. Uh, but this is the current uh, project that I'm working on. Um, this is a, uh, it's about a 300,000 line program. Depends if you count, uh, you know, white space and comments or not. Um, but that's equivalent to like a substantially larger C++ program because it's a higher level programming language. But it's a non-trivial program. This is a commercial quality video game. So I'm like this little guy, I can run around, I can like solve a puzzle by pulling things around and you know, like these monsters attack each other and whatever. There's a ton of game mechanics in this game. I screwed up and died, I can undo. So there's like a whole bunch of, there's a whole bunch of game stuff, right? And then there's a whole bunch of um, other stuff that developers have, right? So like there's an editor in here and I can go around the scene, right? And move stuff around and like scale things and copy paste them and undo all that. Um, so everything that you see here is in this programming language, including all these little widgets, right? Like I select an entity and it's got all these text inputs, right? I can change the whatever, right? So Non-trivial project is the point that I'm trying to get across, and um, we'll keep coming back to it. Um, because we worked so hard on making it look nice, I'll just show a few more. <laughs> I'll show a few more nice scenes just for variety, like, ah, oh, that's nice, and that's nice. And, um, but yeah, basically it's a puzzle game. So it was great that we had a, a, puzzle, a puzzle intro. Okay, so um, I'm just going to start talking about how this compiles and the crazy sort of um, architecture that I ended up with, which is not exactly where I started out. Um, where this project started out was this fundamental question, what are you going to do that's different from other systems languages? And one of my answers was, well, you know, I want to understand my program better and the way that I want to do that is um, I want to have compile time execution because if you have a lot of code running at compile time, you can use that code to understand your program in some way. And the question is like, what is that way? And the answer that we came up with is we have these things called workspaces, which is basically a separate container, right? It's, you can think of it as a container in Unix land or something, but a programming language version of that or like a module space or whatever, whatever your favorite terminology is. And inside that you can compile separate programs, but they can see each other, right? Like little nested dolls or whatever. And um, the way that works in the modern version of the compiler is as soon as you compile anything, right? So, you know, I might compile this program by saying, uh, you know, sorry for the windows backslashes, um, but that's where we're at. Can you see? I wish the font were bigger, but it's fine. Um, 